Hello fellow enamelers, it's me Sandra McEwen and today we're going to be talking about wires. Specifically, we spend all these hours making these beautiful wires and they're attached to a piece of paper with some tape and we've made a beautiful base. It's made of silver, it's enameled on the back and how on earth do we get these wires onto this piece? Well, it's funny because my students are always really surprised to find out that it's literally exactly what they think or fear one at a time. So without further ado, we're gonna do it. This is a really complicated piece. And so I'm probably going to kind of time lapse it, but I just wanted to kind of let you know my setup and we'll kind of pause, you know, as we go and I'll kind of tell you some tricks and tips that I have for putting these wires in. Uh, but first let's talk about what we need in terms of equipment. It's, it's not much. Now the tools that you need to make this happen um, are fairly basic. We just need some fresh, very clean distilled water. Uh, we're going to use some glue today. I'm going to be using a blue stick. It's an adhesive um, from Thompson Enamel. We're not going to use a straight because it's very, very thick. We're going to mix it probably about 50-50 with some distilled water to thin it out because uh, this is going to hold all our wires in place. Uh, while we're in transit. Oh, and of course, you can't go wrong with two really nice pairs of tweezers, kind of a straight pair of tweezers and a hook nose just to kind of get in there and place it. Um, oh, a little brush. Nothing expensive, but something pretty tiny because we're just gonna, we needed to kind of get in there because we're gonna use the brush to apply the glue. And um, for best results, a lovely jewelry microscope. This is Meji, my jewelry microscope. Um, you'll also need some patience and um, a steady hand. Let's get going. Alrighty, we have our wires ready to go. They're right here. And we have our lovely silver base that's ready to accept the wires. It has been enameled, look, it's beautiful on the back. It's been all enameled on the back. And then on the front, you can see, it's hard to see right now, but I've done all my little fine texture, just with a dry point, um, which will really come out after the piece has been finished. But it's actually gonna give, I spend a lot of time making sure that it's very accurate and that's gonna help me to know where I need to put my wires. And then I put a, a coat of enamel on top. So it is ready to go. Uh, but before we get started, we're going to mix up our adhesive. We're going to use some blue stick. And I like to use this for really complicated pieces because the A2 and the A1, I guess it's A3 and the A1, just they, they're not, they don't have as much holding power as I need. So I'm going to, and you can see how, like it's really thick. You wouldn't really want to use that at full strength. And so I'm just going to, Go ahead and get a little bit of the blue stick right here. You can see it's really thick. It's probably getting a little, I'm going to get a lot of it. There we go. So you can see I've got a little bit of that. And then I'm just going to find my pipette and put a little bit of distilled water and give it a mix. You can see it doesn't really love to mix with and I've spilled it all over and that's really good. Mix it really thoroughly. And there you go. It's nice and kind of thin, a little watery, but it still will have a lot of holding power. So that is ready to go. It's always a little intimidating when you're first getting started because it's hard to know where I should start. Like, should I start in the middle and work my way out? I think that I'm going to, because I know I've got these two wing tips absolutely need to match up. So I am going to kind of start with this line right here, maybe this line, or I'm just gonna work my way up and trim as we go. So let's do it. And you can see that I'm just putting down just enough of the glue. I'm gonna do this 
to hold just the piece that I'm doing. And I'm gonna grab this piece. And get that positioned. Kind of fits in there like that. We'll see if that is a good spot. There we go. And this is a good glue because it does dry pretty fast. So I can come back to this piece in just a couple minutes and it's going to kind of be in a good spot. It's not going to be jumbling around. So I'm just going to kind of leave it, we can adjust it a little bit later, make sure we can it's in the right spot. And so I guess the next spot would be the next thing would be, I'm gonna say, I know, it's difficult. I've budgeted seriously three hours to get these in, so there's no rush. Just enjoy, this is what we're doing now, this is our life. And just one piece at a time. Look at this little triangle. It's a very sticky glue and it gums up the tweezers really fast. So you have to keep kind of dipping the tweezers in water and just wiping them off. So they, because you don't want the pieces of wire to stick to your tweezers, which they do a lot. So I'm gonna just, I guess, move forward. It's the only way to go. A little bit more glue. Same goes with the brush. Definitely keep rinsing it off or it just turns into a, just a glue stick, a solid glue stick. So if I didn't have this camera here, I'd probably be, you know, doing a little bit more with that. So let's get this little piece right here. And this, this is little chest armor, I guess plate armor. That's good. And you can see it's just one piece at a time. And at some point, I'm sure I will put something in the wrong spot and have to pull up a bunch of pieces. Just do it. Better to have it be accurate than to move forward and then realize that you've completely put things in the wrong spots. So we're just gonna stick that piece right there. I wonder if this piece is a nice little jiggy jaggy piece.
Alrighty, well I've got this wing down right here and I think I'm actually going to backtrack and do the horse's rump because I know we've got to bring it to this edge. So I'm going to actually do the horse's rump and maybe this thing and then we'll fill in, we'll do this part last. So that's the plan.
Well, I've got three more pieces. Well, two more pieces, and then I've got to make it a piece to fill in one little area. But they need to be trimmed, which is not unusual. Seriously, I feel pretty good that I haven't had to trim very many of these pieces. But you know how things kind of scooch around just ever so much. And this little wing is not fitting. So let us see if that is a better fit. Oh yeah, that looks good. Let me get a little glue in there. And then this piece. It's definitely too long as well. Let me get my flush cutters. Sorry about that. This one definitely needs to be trimmed by a lot. I'm just eyeballing that one. All right, let's get some glue. We'll see. Maybe we don't need this third little piece. There we go. And then this last little piece can go. You know, you know what? I'm going to skip it. I don't think I need it. But I do want to adjust this one. Great. The only other thing that I'm going to do is right here, this piece that I had, I think I just didn't do the right, it's a little too short, so I'm going to go ahead and make just this little square piece, which is his, the, the, where his reins connect to his bridle or whatever that is. Don't know any horse terminology. So I'm going to go do that, and then we will be done. Oh my gosh. It's been so much fun. Well, already we have got all our wires in place, and the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to sift a little enamel on top, the barest amount. There we go. And I am actually going to let that dry overnight. I'm going to put a little cup on top of it to keep the dust out because uh, we need it to be bone dry when we put it in the kiln. And so I'm just going to set that aside until tomorrow and we will fire it first thing in the morning. Well, as you can see, we have successfully fired this piece and I'm very pleased with how all the wires got placed and more importantly we had fun doing it which is really the whole reason that we do this is the love of creating but anyway the next step is to choose what colors we're going to do on this which i haven't quite decided yet i've got some options that i'm still working through maybe i will do a video of that we'll see and anyway check out my website that's www.sandramcuen.com i teach workshops in my studio in Raleigh, North Carolina. So come visit me. We'll do a workshop. I'll teach this in person. And I also sell my jewelry on my website and Etsy as well. So please check out both those places. And um, if you like this video, share it, like it, come buy some art. Anyway, thanks very much. Bye, you guys.